All multicellular creatures transmit information using specialized cells called neurons. The creatures with brains have neural networks, but how does information get transferred from one neuron to another? Let's explore how neurons transmit information. The fundamental unit of a neural network is the neuron pair. To understand how signals are transmitted through the neural network, we must first understand how a signal is transmitted from one neuron to another. Nerves don't actually touch. They do come very close at a structure called a synapse. At rest, a neuron is slightly more negative internally relative to the environment. Some stimulus causes the neuron to reverse its polarity, sending an electrical pulse down the axion. At the synapse, this pulse is transmitted to the proximate neuron by chemicals called neurotransmitters. We will study the neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. This type of synapse is called a cholinergic synapse. How do neurons transmit information to each other? One neuron relays information by an electrical signal to another neuron. This occurs at a synapse. The neuron transmitting the information is called the presynaptic neuron, and the neuron receiving the information is called the postsynaptic neuron. Let's look at what happens at one of the most common types of synapses, a cholinergic synapse. When an electron potential or electrical signal arrives at the synaptic knob of the presynaptic neuron, voltage-regulated calcium gates open. Calcium ions enter and bind to vesicles containing a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. This leads to exocytosis, which releases the acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. Acetylcholine molecules then diffuse across the synaptic cleft and bind to ACH receptors in the external membrane of the postsynaptic neuron. This binding opens ion channels, allowing positive ions to enter and the membrane depolarizes. If this depolarization brings the postsynaptic neuron to threshold, it will result in an action potential or new electrical pulse. The depolarization is short-lived because enzymes in the synaptic cleft rapidly break down the acetylcholine. Thank you, and I hope this increased your understanding of neurotransmission at a cholinergic synapse.